Hello learners, on behalf of Skill Edge, I am CA Ankit Bajaj. In today's session talk, I will discuss the future of fintech in India and also covering the opportunities and challenges in fintech. So we will be seeing the real, real data and we will try to understand that how you can grab this opportunity because fintech is increasing day by day in India. So first of all, I will let you know that what actually is fintech. So if I talk about fintech or if you see the name, so fintech means a combination of finance and technology. Fintech means combination of finance and technology. This is what a fintech. Now you might be thinking that how finance can be interlinked with technology. So now I can give you several examples. From these examples, you will be able to understand. Now without technology, you won't be able to perform finances in a clear manner, right? So technology is very much important if you want to grow in finance sector. So first example I will be taking here. First example is given that is peer-to-peer -peer lending services. So I think you might have heard Heard about Dhani app, Dhani app and Gyandhan app. There are many applications. What they do, they provide you instant loan facility, right? I think you have seen several advertisements where do two people talk about their finances, right? And one people, one person is facing financial crunch. So other person suggests that you can download Dhani app and immediately you can take a loan of five or ten lakh rupees, right? This is about Dhani app. Or if I talk about Gyandhan app, right? So they these applications or these uh, financial institutions they are providing immediate lending facility with the help of technology. So you will be using the application and with the help of uh, application you have to uh, provide the documents you know, they will ask uh, for some documents you will be providing the documents and immediately they will process your loan so this is about peer-to-peer -peer lending services so you can the you can see you are getting finances with the help of application similarly if i talk about payment services so modi ji is trying to make india as a cashless economy and somehow he is very successful as per the data nowadays 77 to 80 80% people they are using these applications. I'm talking about urban cities. So if you see uh, payment services, examples are given Google Pay. Nowadays, if you want to perform a pay payment, so you don't have to carry cash with you, right? Immediately, you can make the payment with the help of these applications. So again, you can see that finance and technology, they are working together to make life easy of uh, public or users remittance services right now let's suppose if you want to remit your money from india to another country right so definitely what you have to do you have to follow the bank path right you have to request your banker your banker will be remitting this money to other country now many fintech companies what they are doing they are trying to uh, create such kind of technology where you will be able to cross your money without the help of banks still they are working on it and some of the fintech they are able to uh, perform this thing uh, practically also so if you see there are some examples so instagram fx remitly they are providing you such kind of services where you can remit your finance without uh, involving bank or other such uh, authorities personal finance or retail investment services now let's suppose i am a salaried employee right and i am earning package of 20 lakh or i am earning salary that is 20 lakh per annum right now let's suppose if i want to invest my money right I, if i want to invest my money in shares or in some other securities right so nowadays many applications are there or many fintech companies are there who will be suggesting you that where you should invest your money and how much return you will be able to generate right so they will be giving you accurate information let's suppose if i want to buy an insurance plan right for myself or for my vehicle right so now i don't need to appoint any broker to buy insurance what i can do i can use a uh, technology i can use some application and i can buy insurance for my vehicle for myself right there are many companies fintech companies who are providing you such kind of services if i talk about miscellaneous soft software services so nowadays you know every uh shopkeeper or every uh stall wala what they can do they can also do the accounting right if i take the situation of five years back or ten years back then it was very difficult for small vendors or small shops to buy these software accounting software now it is very easy for them because many fintech, fintech companies they are providing cheaper and great software right so what they can do they can buy these softwares and they can also do their accounting right so profit books or humming bill there are many many softwares which are available nowadays which allow small vendor also to do their 
consider accounting or record keeping right store key humming bill there are many softwares equity fund services equity funding services now if i take example of any company let's suppose recently a uh, few months back zomato has issued their shares to public right how zomato has issued their shares to public so they have to follow the normal procedure which is given by sebi right but nowadays it is very easy for public to invest into any company there are many application of fintech company you can say fintech company like grow zeroda they made this process very simple now if i want to invest my money in any company share right so what i have to do i have to simply download these application and with the help of these application immediate immediately i will be able to invest my money in any company are you able to understand if i talk about a uh, process uh, that let's suppose 10 years back or 20 years back it was not possible it was not easy to invest in any company previously you were supposed to appoint a broker who will be buying shares on behalf of you right now you don't need any such broker right these fintech companies made this investment or ipos process very simple for companies also and public also now another very important concept is cryptocurrency i think you might have heard everyone has heard about cryptocurrency right it is a digital currency so now if let's suppose if you don't want to keep a uh, physical currency with you so what you can do you can buy digital currency and you can deal with these digital currency instead of carrying physical currency so there are many uh, fintech company like zappe wazirx who are providing such kind of services still crypto is growing it will take time but there is a great future of fintech in india you can see several examples which you can connect with your day to day life now if i talk about the scope of growth that what is the scope of growth of fintech right so we will see some data here scope of growth in india right so digital payment transaction have increased dramatically increasing from 2 trillion in 2019 to 4 trillion in 2020 you can see during covid right in year 2020 there was a lockdown just because of covid and most of the people in globe they have started using digital transaction mode instead of physical transactions right and you can see in year 2019 total payment which were made in india was 2 trillion through online mode now in year 2020 this uh, pay 2 trillion number got doubled in year 2020 and from january to august 2020 digital transaction totaled 6 trillion you can see within few months it got tripled you can see in year 2019 it was 2 trillion and in year 2021 it was 6 trillion so number got three times now further if you see what other data says the value of fintech transaction is expected to rise from us dollar 66 billion in 2019 to us dollar 138 billion in 2023 at a cagr of 20% so on an average there will be growth of 20% every year so you can see there is huge a uh, huge increase in use of fintech finance with technology so if you are not adopting technology with finance definitely you won't be able to survive in market in future right so as on, as on december 2021 india has over 17 fintech businesses that have achieved unicorn status i can give you some example uh, unacademy unacademy has achieved unicorn status in year 2021 and similarly there are 17 fintech businesses who have achieved this thing nowadays we We are uh, taking online education instead of physical classes. So you can see the importance of fintech everywhere. Now, top fintech companies uh, to look out for in year 2022 in India are Razorpay, Paytm, Cred, Bharatpay, Turtle Mint, etc., etc. These are top fintech companies in India. now if i talk about uh, further uh, things i will be discussing if i talk about uh, how uh, banking sector has been affected from uh, technology how uh, you will see the change in banking sector now if i talk about traditional method let's suppose if bank is not ado adopting technology right so what usual average time is taken by bank to process the loan if they are following traditional method as per the data bank takes on an average 29 days to process any loan right but nowadays with the help of dhani app or with the help of uh, gandhan app what banks can do banks can process their loan within one day are you able to understand so you can see the drastic change right uh, fintech startups average time taken to process loan that is 1 to 10 minutes so due to digitization it take one day time and after 
including technology in your business it will take one to ten minutes time if you are providing sufficient documents right so this is what importance of fintech so those who are learning finance it is very important for to them learn technology right without technology nowadays finance is not a complete uh, course or it won't, be, it won't be provide you uh, complete benefit now further if you see challenges and opportunities for fintech expansion right so nowadays what are the opportunities people they are accepting fintech I can give you the example. Now, in every mobile, you will find a Zomato application. It is a kind of fintech, right? You will find Google Pay application. You will find Phone Pay application, right? These all application will be there in every mobile phone. So you can say nowadays people they are accepting fintech. Even though government is also supporting new startups who are working on fintech, right? Skilled employee. So tier one colleges like I am IITs, they are producing lots of skilled employee who are having knowledge of fintech, right? Or technology. So tier one colleges they are able to fulfill these requirements now what are the challenges so non-acceptance by some category still in rural area people they are not ready to accept technology so this is the bigger biggest hurdle for some uh, some way you can say rbi regulation rbi is still is very stringent towards technology because you know why rbi is very stringent because rbi don't want to lose control on currency and that is the reason rbi is not fully supporting for <coughs> finance with technology you can see recently rbi and government has issued lots of regulation on cryptocurrency you can see fraud there is increase in fraud right? so nowadays many a times you might hear that somebody has withdrawn three lakh five lakh or crores of rupees from your account by using technology so still just because of users of uh, fintech uh, frauds are increasing and if i talk about the last challenge so still tier two and tier three university or colleges they are struggling to uh, provide technology education to their students because they don't have that much infrastructure so this is what i want to i would like to discuss about fintech right so there is a great opportunity if person is learning technology along with finance so there is a great scope and in coming years you will see lots of changes in fintech sector thanks a lot guys stay tuned with us for more and further learning Thanks for watching. Do like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to click the bell icon. Hashtag skill se career tak hum aapke saath hai.